It's time for Veterans Issues, the show that brings you information about veterans, military, and their family. Now here's your host, Ken Rollins. Welcome into Veterans Issues, Ken Rollins. Today we're going to be talking about the Valkyrie Initiative. Get your pen, you're going to need to know about this. Be right back. Welcome back to Veterans Issues. Appreciate you tuning in this week. Today's guest is Sheila Stevens. She's been on here before, and she brought with her John Land, he, uh, Joe Land. He's uh, with the Liberty, let's see what it is, the Liberty, Camp Liberty, up toward Camp uh, Coleman, and we're going to talk about uh, the Valkyrie Initiative today. Welcome to the show, Joe. Hey, Ronnie. They call you John for a minute. Hey, Hi. Sheila, welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, Sheila was on here about, what, a year ago? It's been yeah. about two a year, years. Or two years, mm -hmm. okay. Boy, time flies. It does. But uh, we're going to talk about the Valkyrie Initiative, and uh, it'll be showing on the screen here what it is and the contact numbers and how to get in touch with you. Uh, but this is, last time you was on here, you were talking about that, too, and it was just taking off. I'm just getting mm -hmm. started. Now, look, you got a big old poster out here that they'll be showing here on the... Uh, matter of fact, just give a heads up to the, uh, to the camera the folks in the control room and let's uh, let me know when you got that up there and we'll be talking about that but it it's uh turned into this be a little bit bigger than what it was last time you're here it's turned into something bigger than we thought it would be this is going to be really exciting for everyone who can come it's in battleground alabama okay we, uh, they tell me they we, uh, so hold it there we got the program up there so we'll do that but okay, okay. here's here's the program <coughs> and uh, that we're talking about this is the rocking america's hero this is the valkyrie initiative and it's on September the 24th, 2016 at Camp Liberty. That's what Joe's going to talk about. And the Camp Liberty Battleground, Alabama. And he'll tell us where all that is, what exits and all that stuff. If you want to find out more about it, go to the uh, website, the, the www.thevalkyrieinitiative.org. The Valkyrieinitiative.org. Now they can pull it down. We'll continue talking about you were telling about what what is a valkyrie initiative for the folks that didn't see you last time um the valkyries were norse a norse legend of winged females that would come down on the battle winged creatures that would come onto the battlefield and fight with the soldiers and take them back home and it morphed into them actually fighting more than taking them away to valhalla so we that's why we call it the valkyrie initiative because we want to be those those people that help here at home and we call it battlefield home because once your battle is over and under deployment then you have another battle to readjust here at home in some cases but i'm a man i don't want to have a woman with wings well, it's, it's a creature, <laughs> it's a creature. but yeah. I, I want to be the man creature <laughs> right call me we omar got, we have plenty of them too <laughs> okay joe how'd you get into this how did pull well, you into it <laughs> Sheila has a way of pulling folks yeah, I know in she because does, she yeah. has such passion for mm -hmm. the warfighter and for the first responder. I'm a veteran. I own Camp Liberty. And when Sheila and I met, I learned about her efforts in regards to supporting our brothers and sisters, either from the military or law enforcement, firefighter, EMT, paramedics, those that have worn boots. Um, it's hard not to support. So, what, what, what service are you in? I actually served in the world's greatest Navy. I didn't know they had anything but the Army, but I heard they had something. Yeah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Navy no beat Army. We'll talk about that in December. <laughs> yeah, I, always, I love to have that. Marines. I was hoping you were going to say I'm a Marine. I, just, I love to have them on you. Uh, what, what is Camp Liberty about? I did, I've never heard of it. Well, Camp Liberty actually just started in February of this year. Mm -hmm. Camp Liberty is the home of Extreme Military Challenge, which is a military summer camp for young men and women 13 to 18. Good kids, crime-free, drug-free, doing good in school. We provide six weeks of programming. And just to give you an idea, in beautiful downtown, well, little bitty Battleground, Alabama, this last year we had 168 young people from 29 states and 11 countries wow. come to our summer programming. That's a, the location is somewhere close to Coleman? Right. Camp Liberty is actually a 75-acre facility just in Battleground, which is in Coleman County off of exit 310, about 10 miles uh, towards West Point. Okay, and I know we have the young Marines that you heard of them. I'm certainly, sure. certainly. So it's something along those lines, they just don't have the real physical. Our program is very realistic. So yeah. we deal with oh, okay. 13 to 18 and we run a basic training program, two weeks, bonafide drill sergeants, drill instructors, military training instructors from the Air Force. We have a field leader course. We have Cadet Ranger School, variety of programs. Uh, if anyone's interested, xmccamp.com, xmccamp 
XMC.com. XMC. I'm going to put that XMC. C A M P. Dot com. Yes, sir. I hate drill sergeants, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bunch of them. And I got some really good ones, <laughs> too. Oh, I bet okay. you did. Because I, uh, <laughs> I wanted to be a sergeant so bad because a little buck sergeant made me quack like a duck and walk like a duck <laughs> picking up cigarette butts when I said, and I just said, I've got to get me some of them. And I did. And well, then I thought I was the meanest. Uh, anyhow, let's get out of that. Let's go back to the, the Valkyrie Initiative. So you've linked with with Joe and you're going to have, tell me why I should as a veteran, why I should be there. What are you going to, what would be in it for me? This is going to be a really unusual event because we're going to have three combat vets who are turned entertainers and they've done things with Charlie Daniels band, some really famous people in Nashville. They'll be entertaining us, but the thrust of it is patriotic music, overcoming music, that kind of thing. One of them won the Josie Awards in Nashville just last week. And then we're gonna have John Rhea, who is SEAL Team 6 forefather. He started it with Dick Marchenko and his, that team. He'll be speaking. And we also have Stony Stone, who is a person who has four um, black belts in four different martial arts. And he trains SEALs and he trains uh, the public and police officers and people like that. They'll be speaking. But during the day, that'll, that'll happen around five o'clock on. And during the day, we'll have games and uh, chance they can win prizes. In fact, we'll give away a prize all, every hour on the hour, all day long. Maybe more than one what is, prize. What is one of the prizes? Uh, we have an AR-15 AR that, will be, that will be given away one. at the end of the, oh yeah. Shoots it, real bullet. It's built by John Galletta. Uh, he's a, a military veteran and he has built a wonderful company called Brothers in Arms. A lot of people know that, I'm sure, in your audience. I saw that. Yes. Yeah. And he has done that, especially for Valkyrie. We have a picture of it on the website, mm -hmm. on the Valkyrie website. Don't, don't worry, Ken, it's mine. <laughs> He's claimed it, but got this you, go, can't you get go it. Buy, got this you buy tickets, don't you? You can't win it. That's right. The, the tickets are five dollars. You can buy the tickets online. You don't but have to buy, be there. His real other name is Sam Wade. Oh. So <laughs> <laughs> that's right. He'll make up a pseudonym. Yeah, that. Uh, but and then we have two. We have two vintage rifles that you don't have to be present to win either. Okay. Uh, a Mosin and a um, Enfield. And where do you get the tickets? Story. Online the at the ValkyrieInitiative.org, they they can buy the tickets, and you can if you buy groups of tickets, they get cheaper. They're five dollars for one, but they get cheaper the more that you buy. Yeah. So um, I would go for this. This is going to be an amazing yeah. thing. But then we have prizes all during the day, like Dale Comstock, which a lot of people know, Delta Force. Uh, has given his whole entire platinum video DVD series of self-defense and two books and t-shirts and then Gary Sinise Foundation has given us some things. Um, there's just a whole list of prizes that they'll see. Joe, you said, you know, the, the veterans and first responders, you're a veteran, that would say why you're doing that, but why are first responders? You know, there's, there's a certain type of person that will take the oath, that, that will make the commitment to, and, and yeah, folks like us that have done this, we kind of downplay it, but folks that are willing to go towards danger rather than Good away from man. it, okay? And this young lady is, 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 is friendly and as nice and as pleasant as can be. She's one hard, hard little woman because she's been a cop. She's carried a weapon. She's exchanged fire. And you never know who that person is. So, you know, supporting those folks that have put on boots, that put on a uniform, carried a badge, carried a weapon, <laughs> You know, I was a broadcast journalist. I was only gung-ho on Tuesdays, okay? But yeah. well, I took the that's the whole that broadcast okay. thing. You know, when they tell you in the ear you got, got 15 it. seconds, you know what we got to do, do Got it. If you don't, they'll say right. it's shocking. And then we got to go to break. We come back. Well, we're going to talk with Joe and Sheila. We stay right there. Can get you a pen. Welcome back to Veterans Initiative. We're talking <laughs> Veterans Initiative. Veterans <laughs> Issues. We're talking about Valkyrie Initiative. And I'm talking with Joe Lan and Sheila Stevens, and we were talking about. Uh, we want to mention the name of the event. It's Rocking America's Heroes. Um, I can't believe you didn't call me for talent on it on the talent side. I should have. Yeah, you should I have, because you didn't know. You know, I'm, I'm Willie, I'm Waylon, <laughs> I'm Elvis, and all that. And these, the, into yeah, one. and you could have booked one person, got all of that right there. I mean, it just. <laughs> I'm going to let it go. I, I'm cut to the quick. <laughs> you ever went around with a that. cut quick all day? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's me. All right, we, back to uh, 
we got to get all the information there about the tickets. We got the cost of the tickets, five bucks, and uh, well, get them online at the that's website. That's if you want. I'm sorry, can I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. That's if you want to just get a chance to win the mm -hmm. the uh, two, the three weapons that we're giving right. away. That leads me to my question that okay. I was going to ask. I know why veterans should be there. I know why first responders. What about people who are neither or e either one of those? Let me, let me, that let me, would, uh, let me take one. that. Okay. First off, Camp Liberty. Go out and get dirty. We have an obstacle course. We have zip lines. We have a rappel tower. And my troops are going to be involved with ex uh, facilitating those events. And if you come on out, those are all available, all to support the funding needs of the Valkyrie Initiative. So. It's a great facility, good food, lots of music, and it's in a patriotic environment. We've got the largest American flag in northern Alabama, okay, larger than the Space Center over there, and, uh, you know, it's just a great really? place to be. Absolutely. Well, I would hope that, uh, and I'll give a shout out, Matt Bine, who is a young Marine that uh, lives down in the word Leeds and Moody. He's been on the show several times. He did the uh, walk for the 22 yes, walk over, that. you know, Matt. I and, don't know him, but I know And them guys, they yes. into the muscles, kind of like yeah. me. I'm, I had my <laughs> abs, but they went on down a little bit. But watch it. And, uh, but they've got a lot of those guys and girls that are still living in Afghanistan, and they're still playing right. soldier and playing Marine. And this would be just ideal for them to get up there and get a group together and come in and just go back to the day. Yeah, go back to the day. We're actually also having weekend events and other such things apart from what we're doing in support of the Valkyrie Initiative. Camp Liberty is just really focused towards supporting the the importance of those men and women that wear a uniform. Mm -hmm. The warfighter, and you mentioned, you know, and, and the, the first responders, we did the same thing here. I don't, I don't define that uniform that I wore versus a policeman, policewoman here in this area because, like you said, they take that oath of office. But I spent a lot of my time in the service at Fort Benning and Fort Seal and other places where I didn't worry about my uh, getting harmed like you would in Vietnam. These officers every day in the streets of Birmingham, the uh, interstates, yeah, the they walk up to a tinted window of a car in the middle mm -hmm. of the night. They put their lives on the line every day. So why should we ever distinguish between the two? That's why exactly. I, that's my, I got off my soapbox. No, and if you, you can't throw a rock in a room full of veterans, yeah. I mean, a room full of first responders without hitting a vet oh, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So they're that's the same the people. Here, yeah, the way it is here in Oxford. And, and they, uh, they take an oath and mm -hmm. they uh, get out there to protect and serve. Uh, our oath was the same thing. We wrote a check and said, you can kill us or take right. our legs or whatever, you know, right. up to including our lives. And you know, and, and also to include our firefighter brothers and sisters exactly. and paramedics. And I mean, these yeah. folks that really step up and say, you know, hey, yeah. I'm here for you. You look at the American society, 1.1% will wear a uniform of some sort. 1.1%, yeah. 99, nearly 99 are the ones that depend on that 1%. Okay. Yeah. And today, the firefighters and the EMT, they're in the same war zone. They're getting the same, they can be in the same firefight, just they don't have yeah. the weapons. You know what goes through my mind? There's one image that goes through my mind. This is from the 9-11, the firemen packing 60 pounds or more up them stairs as everyone yeah. was coming down. Exactly. You know, who does that? Who goes into the fire, yeah. goes into the, and like the policeman out in Dallas, when they were running into the, getting people out of the way, getting out, right. they were running into the fight <coughs> and not knowing where the bullets are coming from or who was firing them. What, what is, where do these people come from? What's the difference in them and the GI yeah. that's in the hills of Afghanistan or jungle of Vietnam? That's part of our mission is to tell the world and the war fighters and the police and fire themselves that they're stronger than they know because there is a gene that's been found called the MAOA gene, which shows that there are traits of resourcefulness and going toward danger instead of away from danger, risk taking, um, protectiveness. They're, those are actually traits on a gene that people possess. I want you to get one on our friend Cliff Prosser over Cliff's in Burnham, got it. I, I bet you he's got some <laughs> he's of that. He's got it. Yeah. But, but that's why these people uh, are doing, are capable of doing those things. Of course, you know, it's the, it's, you use it by choice. Criminals, we share it with criminals because yeah. they make different decisions. But it's a, it's a, it shows that they have the strength to overcome whatever they've been through. And what we want to do is give them the programs and the tools that we've learned that will help do that. I talk about a lot here that 
all heroes don't wear capes. I guess that's about your theme up there, isn't it, Joe? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's an awesome deal because I hear the word liberty, and anytime I hear that word liberty, I, I think we uh, they're building a Liberty Park here in Oxford. It's uh, to honor the military and the, the law enforcement. It, and it's that word itself speaks of who you are, sure. what you're doing up there, and. Uh, and what you're doing, Sheila, that is a... Now, I want to give the phone number out if somebody is out there wanting to... Uh, and they always... Uh, some people watch this, uh, I tape it, and they watch it, and, and they call in. They want to call in live yeah. right there, you know. And uh, I'm out here on the interstate somewhere, but the phone number, here it is. This is why I want you to have the pen. It's uh, area code 205-835-2213. That's 205-205-835-2213, and that'll get you Sheila. Now, you said books and CDs. What are, what are the books and what are the CDs? Okay. <coughs> we're, uh, one of the projects that we want people to come help us with at this event is we're doing a book series. And the first book is by veterans. Tell us your story. What is your story? Don't let it die. If you've got a family member, a, an older veteran that hasn't told his story or put it in writing, bring mm -hmm. him and let us... Uh, let us actually record him because we'll have videographers all day long that will take people mm -hmm. their, the interviews and tell their stories. So um, this is for posterity. This is for your children. This is to set sometimes the, to set the the record straight for people who want to rewrite history about the war and about veterans and what happened. What what day of the week is September the twenty fourth on? It's on Saturday. Saturday. Okay. So this is something that, the, that we're giving them a heads up enough now to a uh, few days. From the time they see the show, they can plan on taking, if you, if you want your kids to come up there and see that, they can come up there that day, and then they can look around, and they might want to come go through your program. Is that, is that a good idea? Sure. They can learn about what we do there at mm -hmm. Camp Liberty in the summer with Extreme Military Challenge. We also host large events, weddings, retreats. You can have a wedding on Tuesday and tactical training with a SWAT team on Wednesday. Reunions. So it's amazing what happens there at Camp Liberty. Well, if you're getting married, you need to know that SWAT team. <laughs> well, the, we, we named the chapel Freedom Hall. That's where you lose your freedom. It's just how it is, okay? <laughs> I love that. We're, we're also putting together a CD that will have 12 combat vets who have turned entertainers. And they're giving us each a song that shows um, their view of their struggles that they've been through and how they've overcome it and patriotic songs. That group that played the national anthem, do you, are they any part of this? Yes, Dave Bray. What's the name He'll of He'll be there, Dave Bray. Dave Bray. Dave Bray. Dave Bray. What's the name of the group? Oh, he used to be with Madison Rising, Madison but Rising, he's on yeah. his own now. Okay, yeah. wow, that's good. And he'll be actually singing that. Uh, we're down anthem. to 30 seconds, so what I leave out. Sheila has a great program with the Valkyrie Initiative. She's doing great things for brothers and sisters who are worn a uniform, and this is a fun day. It's going to be an exciting event, and it's going to do some great things to support the Valkyrie Initiative, as well as those men and women that have worn a uniform. Fun day on a Saturday, and uh, yes. okay. Camp Liberty, y'all cool. hang around here a minute. with us. <laughs> we appreciate you coming on doing the show today, Thank and uh, we wish you the best of success up there. And uh, and with Camp Liberty, I might want you to come back down here again, Joe, and talk about the things you're doing Too up easy. there. Too easy. I appreciate Too easy. that. We're going to go to a break. i got news that you can use. Stay where you are. That pen. Welcome back to Veterans Issues. Ken Rollins, I appreciate Joe and uh, Sheila coming on doing the show, that Valkyrie Initiative on the 24th of September. Remember what we talked about here today. That's a great, great initiative there. I've got to tell you some, uh, well, first of all, let me remind you that uh, if you've got any wheelchairs out there, power chairs is what I'm talking about, that uh, somebody don't use, uh, uh, you've maybe lost uh, the person that, uh, that had the power chair. I've got veterans that need those chairs. Uh, to get around home, to get around, go down the street, talk to their neighbor and things like that. But they're not eligible to get one through the VA. So uh, if you've got one of those, uh, just and give me a call and I will, I, I, will, uh, I will definitely uh, come take it off of your hand. Okay, and uh, i got some bad news. I said we've lost our first law enforcement officer for the state of Alabama, uh, Correction Officer Kenneth Bettis down in, uh, he lives in Monroeville. And... Uh, we will be adding his name to the Alabama Law Enforcement Memorial, and we'll have a uh, ceremony up there on the 28th at 11 a.m., the 28th of this month, September, to uh, honor him, 11 a.m. in the Centennial Memorial Park. And uh, it's going to be very important that the community come out and support the family. He is the first law enforcement officer that we lost to the state of Alabama, 
in 2016. And the VA has uh, changed their numbers. I give them to you each week because uh, people are still calling the wrong one. The number for the audio, uh, you must, the audio uh, clinic is 877-894-2600-2600 and extension 4704. That's for the, for the audio section. And the vision care is still over to Callahan Center and their number is 866-487-4244. Four, four, four. That's a, the, for the uh, vision care. And they are still needing volunteers to drive the uh, go golf carts over there in the parking lot to take the people from the elevator to the cars and from the cars to the elevator. So if you'd like to be a volunteer in there, call uh, Pat over at uh, 205 933 4396 205-933-4396 and tell Pat that you would like to be a volunteer to drive a golf cart. And the women's clinic is open over there also. Now, the law enforcement tag that we tell you about here on the show, uh, it fits. You don't have to be in law enforcement to get that tag. But the revenue from that tag is what we built the Alabama Law Enforcement Memorial with. There's over 40-something thousand dollars we paid to build that memorial and you by purchasing that tag you you paid for that memorial so uh, we appreciate that but it's going to it costs to add the names and, and to upkeep of the memorial and that's what you're doing when you purchase that tag not only that but when when someone sees that tag on your car with that shield and that rose in it that's the symbolic of the fallen in a line of duty officer you're saying who you are and what you think about law enforcement so yeah, think about getting that when you get ready to do your tag. I don't know how much time I've got to do here. Let's see. Oh, man, I'm down and running out of time here. The Choice Program, somebody this morning said they didn't know how to use it. They didn't, couldn't get help on a Choice Program through the VA. Baloney. I've used it a couple of times down here for the ears and the eyes, and it works fine. If you'll call the Choice Program at 205-933-8101, 205-933-8101. Hit the operator thing and ask for the choice program, and you'll they'll take care of you, and it does work, folks. So you can go. Okay, I'm running out of time here. I want to make sure that this salute this week goes out to all the law enforcement and their families because the families are the ones that's left home waiting while they're out running up down the road and protecting us. So this this salute this week is for the law enforcement and the family. We'll see you next week here on Veterans Issue. Here we go. We're out of here. <laughs>